sister, you know that. That one, you've been praying since before we even got married. What do I, you want to do? I know. It's a prayer just to help I him. know. Anybody that moves, moves, is moving close like this. Hey, in the spirit and in the physical. I know that. <laughs> uh, do you pray for me? Of course. You pray for me? Of course. Why must I pray what, for what you? What kind of prayer do you pray for What kind of prayer? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's see what kind of prayer you pray for me. What do you tell God? I go Let me melt his heart. Uh -huh. Help him to listen to me. Help him to be patient. You're not praying for me. You're praying for yourself. I'm just joking. It's uh, true that uh, help him to listen to joking. me. I'm just joking. It's a joke. It's not a joke. Out of the abundance of the heart, no, the mouth speaks. Let serious. me tell the prayer I pray. Kereboshke. <laughs> Kabaya. I won't tell you. <laughs> Can you see it as part of your, your life responsibility? If you want to get married, you don't have to get married, okay? And you must so they should and don't know. demonize people that get married. Don't pick the ones that didn't are not they're not like doing well as an excuse that the marriage institution is totally bad. Don't start consoling yourself in what is not helpful. There are people that are enjoying their marriage, they might not shout on the rooftop or top roof. <laughs> they might not be on the you know, they're people like, just like business, just like your nation too. Can as far as I, I, I hey. go. It's like I've been rapping, right? I think one major reason why people are not, well, young, younger people, because we're still young, are not uh, so enthusiastic about getting married is they don't have so many examples in their faces of the ones doing well. Fortunately, the, uh, the media narrative is not helpful. When you watch movies, uh, you watch the news, uh, uh, soap operas, it, it just paints a picture of, ah, this one is divorcing, this one is separating. And then growing up, not many of us had homes where our parents were happy. And the question is, why should I get into this thing when it looks like everybody is suffering? Welcome to Conversations with Yemi and Bimbo David. Today we have a lot of things to talk about, especially as it relates to relationships and marriage. We talk about sex, we talk about pregnancy, and anything that is related to that. God will help us today. Conversations. I believe uh, our conversations uh, are, has been a blessing to you one way or the other, right? So, Always like, always share, always subscribe, follow, whichever one, and let's know how these um, episodes have been a blessing to you. Today we're going to talk about um, pregnancies, marriage, sex, relationship, and we'll see where that takes us today. Conversations. Let's welcome Bimba David to Conversations. Hello, everyone. So um, we've been... Okay, he mentioned pregnancies, and yes, there was a point of <laughs> conflict sometime in our marriage where um, the pregnancy phase affected uh, especially sexual intimacy or intimacy. And um, why are you looking like that? <laughs> so we want to talk about, and I mean, we've spoken to a number of people that have had similar experiences. Um, speaking for the woman, let me just go out there you know just start so speaking for the woman you know pregnancy is not a it's for many women it's not an easy fix right mm. a lot of things change in the body of the woman um as much as there's an excitement about a new baby coming into the home and the family but it's also telling on the woman emotionally uh, physically her body and all so sometimes okay there are different reasons why you may not, sex is the last thing that the one is thinking yeah. <laughs> when she's pregnant, making love. making love and all. That's, you know, for some women, and in many situations, maybe the first trimester, second trimester, whatever, it may be the last thing that the woman is thinking of. So men should understand. Well, I, I, think, I think the issue is, um, and this is what I'm talking about, this is to help people prepare. We didn't know, I didn't know, she didn't even know. Uh, I mean, you get married, you're excited. Um, like, I mean, some people have had a lot of experiences before in terms of maybe sex, but I didn't have, uh, we didn't have that. So, the joy of getting to marriage. So you can imagine the reality of okay, enjoying yourselves, and then suddenly pregnancy shows up, which is a good thing. So, so I think what we want to also do is to 
encourage people that are just getting married especially to be aware because for us it was a big battle thank god for his mercy and helps you, you know you you're getting married and then you you're excited about marriage and then pregnancy comes up which is a thing of joy but most men especially don't realize the other side of it the reality that um, especially if it's the first or second pregnancy where your wife's body begins to adjust her hormones adjust uh, mood everything is adjusting so she's not even herself so just realize that maybe you've been enjoying love making you know regularly and then suddenly something just stops it you know that's for like nine months for some people is nine months for some people is six months you know and then the delivery period you are expecting okay ah baby has come and when you're doing the ceremony your celebration is beyond the baby that uh, we're going to resume action you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. and then another another thing starts because uh, breastfeeding no sleeping in the night that was even if I use the word more more critical than the pregnancy period you can still manage pregnancy period but that one she doesn't sleep in the night you take care of the baby and if it's your first child for instance if it's a woman has never had a baby before which was our experience anyway which is a great thing anyway you know we didn't have you know there was no time so just realize that for for somehow by the time i evaluated it almost two years you didn't have the regularity believe me I was not myself. Mm -hmm. I used to get angry, naggy, reacting. But it was when I understood it that, okay, okay, I think we need to get people prepared for this. I want to encourage both parties, even as a woman, if you know that this is the situation and you know you can still find ways of meeting the needs of your husband. And as a pastor, I've counseled with a number of people. By the time I evaluated it, many people that got into adulterous relationships or distractions it was that period they were not themselves they got the, and who wants to you know overburden a woman that is pregnant mm -hmm. or that is not seeing a baby you don't know about what you want to so it's just like so you say it's an innocent start and then if you don't if you're not careful the devil hijacks that you find that you are distracted so I, I, I just want people to be aware, whether it's your first child or second child or third child, pregnancy comes with its own um, addi ad uh, additions, mm -hmm. like, you know, at the very root of it that is needed is the word discipline. Oh, yes, discipline, because you can't really blame your wife or another person. It's just discipline. But why should you be disciplined? Don't let what you do in a temporary way destroy what you, what you have in the future. I, I hope. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Anyways, you're yeah, right. You know, we are being aware. Um, I think it's also it's, it's it's also important that we start talking about it even before um, the wedding pre counseling. You know, when you come for counseling because it's mm. a, it's a major issue. I remember so that when we were, I think the beginning parts of pregnancy was really tough you know but as i settled in and i was you know now welcoming it and all then the mind uh, well not just general but even for my husband there were times when you were cautious you're like i oh, know i don't want to disturb you i don't want you. And if, 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 if a lot of ladies know that they should be able to kind of encourage the man to switch uh, back that's what i'm saying that when they switch off like that, that the devil now to, tries to give them options it's something that they need to talk about not not just with themselves but talking to experts in the sense that um it was while we were pregnant i remember that where we were well, that's what they say okay that's what they say okay while we were pregnant uh -huh. oh that like that i didn't know <laughs> That How do you mean, sir? Both of us were expecting a baby. Is it not? Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> I kick out. Sorry, continue. It was how I was like that, that the doctor, you know. Oh my goodness. We were pregnant. I was pregnant. Don't tell me anything. I can continue. <laughs> While I was pregnant. See, that's. <laughs> Conversations. I wish I was pregnant. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your wish is when you actually, if it actually happens. <laughs> Go ahead, please. You know, so while um, <laughs> during our own season, yeah. um, I remember that it was a medical, you know, advice. 
okay. from a doctor yes. that, you know, no Take intimacy in the first three months, allow this thing. Because there were times when, you know, dependent, well, we have four daughters, and so for some of the, their pregnancies, or even before their, them, I had some miscarriages, you know, in, oh, along yes. the way. So it was instructed by the doctor that keep calm, don't touch her for this number of and then you'll be shaking your head in the hospital, you know, the, that's what we're talking about. What do you want me you'll be doing to like do? This, and you'll be feeling that they don't so, punish wait, me again. No, but you, you, actually, you assume that the woman too is not missing the intimacy. That's I, what you think. I, I, that's what you think, that it's only men that want no, to be intimacy, intimacy and sexual. That's what I'm, sexu I'm talking about sexual. Are you saying that when you are pregnant, you also yes. miss my intimacy Later with you? Later I meet you sometimes. I thought and it was just to pacify, that... I thought it was just to pacify me, not because... Because ladies, ladies, especially with the first child, they so they so love the pregnancy or have a baby coming. Sometimes we men feel that wow, that's all she likes and wants, which is fine. But we we feel unattended to at times. See that even, the thing is, the thing is, I think I think what happens is that when um, a couple is pregnant or expecting, <laughs> they feel that it's only the woman that should learn about the pregnancy. I think both parties, husband and wife, need to read together because pregnancies are different. There are no two pregnancies that are the same. Our first, wow. uh, when I was pregnant with our first daughter, it was even much better than uh, some of the, our, other my, our other pregnancies for our children. So they need to understand that. The man, when the man understands that, even biologically, you know, there are things that they should know that this is what is happening in the woman's body. But well, I think the woman should educate. The, the, the woman doesn't is not know. Easy. The woman too doesn't know. Yeah, but, you know. How will she know? That's, oh. after, that's the first one. Even second one. Uh, but she should be able to. No, no, that's what I'm saying. They're not pregnancies as a thing. They're all unique. Okay. So both of them still need to sit down together and learn it. So of course the woman may know more. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 but at the same time, but when the man understands... that the man needs to be encouraged a lot more because he's missing something. He has not this school of marriage yeah, and the woman, uh, pregnancy. The like, that the woman is not missing. So I'm just, it's a joint thing. It's a joint, it's a partnership. Okay, tell us what you feel. I'm, I've been saying it now. And what do you people feel during pregnancy? Just give what, us a oh, hint. Oh, what do we feel? Yeah, just give us a, a preamble. Well, mm. For me, of course, it's my, my own situation is unique I know, me. but it's, somebody you know, can pick from that. So yeah. there's morning sickness. That happened. Morning, I didn't matter. Remember, there were, when I had most of my pregnancies, I was always throwing up. Yeah, in the morning. No, well, they call it morning sickness, but it's it can happen anytime okay. of the day. Yes. So it was that was a big issue for me, and it lasted. So typically, they would say maybe the first three months, but for some people, it lasts longer than three months. For mm -hmm. me, it lasted longer than three months. Why? I don't know. We, we don't, and even the med medically, they don't really have an answer. But do, so but do you pray about this kind of things? Oh my because God. we pray about other things. Then we continue. It's sickness now. It's really that, that, sickness. See that. See that. Okay, sorry. I remember we had a, I had a conference. I had a book that I read. But there are still some things that are biological. Just like some things are biological to a man. It's like what? In the, <laughs> as you're talking about pregnancy, when you're talking about family planning, why is it the woman that they say they should do this, do this? Why can't the man go and do his own family planning and, and, and especially if his family, go and cut his whatever? Why is it always the woman that's always they're always telling to go and do? I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. No. Vax, vax, there's a word they call it. That's like don't be a man. Said to uh -huh. Vax said to them, she don't want, we should tie what your your your. No, 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 I don't understand. I'm, 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 look, I'm a child. You're ready. Girl. You're ready. You, in front of the camera, you're ready. See, see, I don't know what you're talking about first. Is it to, to tie the thing that will produce this? The like, sperm. That's fine. And it's permanent. I think the we challenge is about it. Don't mind. It, it for, the, it, for him, because we considered it. No. Yes, we did. See, we you see, we you did. See, you we see. did. And Scripto I was ready to do it for myself, sir, because me, I was. Listen. Hey, wait, just wait. I said, okay, go and do your own. Go and try it. I'm said, ready. Hey, the, the, he said, Go for it. That's what you said. No, when you said it, it was like it should cut my thing. And, and that's, 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 that's not right. <laughs> Nothing. That's not right now. What God gave me? Listen. Oh, my God. 